Hi folks, I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness. Those of you who watch Shark's videos know our mission, to advocate for abused animals. But every now and then it becomes necessary to investigate closer to home. Will Potter claims to be an award-winning investigative journalist. In June 2014, Will Potter announced he was going to raise money for a drone project through a campaign on Kickstarter.com. Will Potter stated he would use the drones to watch over factory farms. Potter called the campaign Drone on the Farm. Catchy. Will Potter generated an extraordinary amount of media and fanfare. There were many articles and interviews across the U.S. and well beyond, even though Potter's drone program at this stage was nothing but talk. Those of us at Shark were very pleased with Will Potter's plan because we've encouraged animal protectors to make use of technology for years. Shark has used drones since 2010, and they're sometimes the only way to film abuse. Drones, however, are complicated, and we didn't want to see Mr. Potter's projects languish while he worked through all the issues that would inevitably arise. So on June 9, 2014, I sent Will Potter an email offering to assist him, either by putting Shark's drones to work because we often collaborate with other organizations, or simply with advice. Mr. Potter did not respond. He did, however, raise a lot of money very quickly. On June 12, 2014, Will Potter posted the following Kickstarter update. Just three days into this Kickstarter and we're already 77% funded. On June 17, Potter posted, Fully funded in just five days. Thank you for making this happen. Potter went on with, Today, I'm excited to announce a plan to expand the project and a new fundraising goal of $95,000. Potter stated, With the new goal, I will expand the photography tools used to include thermal slash night vision lenses, Upgrade the drone to a model that can handle a heavier payload, which means I can upgrade the camera to an HD SLR. Expand the number of states and farms investigated. Purchase an additional drone. He finished with, I hope you'll consider inviting your friends to contribute to this project or increase your own donation. Let's do this. On June 24, Potter posted there would be new rewards to raise more money to get a second drone. These rewards would include an ebook about the investigation, exclusive email updates, a t shirt, your name listed in the final credits of a short documentary about the project, a sticker, and your name on a website. If you gave a lot of money, $5,000, a drone would be named in your honor. Your name would be hand painted on the drone and featured prominently in the video. You could also look forward to a personal phone call from Will about how your generous donation was being used. What a deal. The end of the post reads, let's keep this investigation growing. But this isn't an investigation, not yet. It's a fundraising campaign and a very successful one. On July 9, Potter posted, we met the original goal in five days. We met the expanded goal three times higher. We met the $30,000 match goal provided by a very generous donor, and we exceeded even that. At the end of his post, Potter writes, Thank you for all this incredible support. I can't wait to get started. Now, rolling in money, it was time for Will Potter to get to work and make his drone promise a reality. In August 2014, I personally spoke to Mr. Potter at an annual animal conference in Los Angeles, California. Mr. Potter said he had not gotten my earlier email, although my email program indicated no delivery issues. I repeated Shark's offer to assist Mr. Potter with his drone project. Our drones were ready to go. More months passed. At no point thereafter did Mr. Potter contact us for any assistance or advice. I found this to be odd, because when Shark was putting together his drone operation, we were in touch with a lot of people. Our dialogue with others in the drone field continues to this day because there are lots of questions and shop talk. Meanwhile, Will Potter's Kickstarter supporters were getting restless. On September 29, 2014, Emma Gold posted, Could we get an update? It would be great to see how the project is going, and it's been over two months since the last update. On October 9, Derek posted, 
What Emma said. Can we get an update? It's been exactly three months since the project funded, and we haven't heard anything. Please let us know how it's going. On December 23, Derek posted, The lack of updates since this project funded is amazingly inconsiderate. Six months and no idea where my money has gone. On January 3rd, 2015, Will Potter posted another update, which included, I need to apologize for the delay in this update. He said that the project was far too much for one person. There have been plenty of roadblocks and difficulties along the way. Drone crashes, equipment failures, weather cancellations. Sometimes it has just felt like one disaster after another. Moving forward, I'm coordinating the release of my drone footage with several outlets. So, according to Will Potter's post, there is drone footage. That was in January 2015. Now it is September 2015, and no video documentation from Will Potter's drones has been forthcoming. The complaints from Will Potter's supporters continued. On February 20, 2015, Ken D. posted, Is there any timeline as to when we can expect your regular updates? Info. Anything. At this point, it seems to be money thrown away. On March 2, Kiyomi Shimizu pointed, It's very frustrating when project starters disappear. This is actually one of the projects that have completely put me off using Kickstarter altogether. On March 5, 2015, Potter posted about an upcoming Kickstarter party that would include vegan pizza, snacks, and beers. The only drone image people would see at this point was on a sticker designed just for Will Potter. Journalism where eagles dare. On March 10, Will Potter posted that the Kickstarter party had been a success, and he included pictures. That was the final Kickstarter update. As time went on, the complaints continued. The updates did not. What really piqued my curiosity was when Will Potter spoke at the July 2015 Animal Rights Conference near Washington, D.C. After raising a small fortune and making all kinds of promises to his supporters and the media, Will Potter said this. The drone technology itself personally is challenging. I mean, terrible drone pilot. I mean, these guys, if you want to talk about like logistics and how to do it and technology, Please direct your questions to other people on the panel. I'm a print journalist. <laughs> I wrote a book. Like, I wrote a website. Like, I worked at newspapers. Like, the whole multimedia, digital era. Like, I'm already too old for that to begin with. And despite having a childhood of uh, nothing but video games, it's just, like, abs I'm absolutely terrible. That's really fascinating to me because I learned to fly drones in my 50s, and Will Potter isn't nearly so old. Even more interesting was when Will Potter claimed I'm like so OCD about using everyone's, uh, and by the way, if you contribute to the Kickstarter, thank you very much for your support, but, and I've been so OCD about like, using the money as far as I can, using it very strategically, did everything right, did all my tests, and then fly away, like one of the first investigations in that awesome drone. So I am terrible. That's right. Will Potter says his drone just flew away. It's extremely rare that drones just fly away, but that's why you attach a small locator beacon. The beacon leads you right back to the runaway drone. What's really going on here? Remember, Shark offered to help from the very beginning, and our offers were completely ignored. On August 19, 2015, I sent Mr. Potter another email asking for some answers. I pointed out that according to Mr. Potter himself at the August 2015 conference, the drones he was using were just consumer grade. He mentions a Phantom drone, which only costs about $1,000. He made no mention of his earlier promise that for extra money he would expand the photography tools used to include thermal night vision lenses, upgrade the drone to a model that can handle a heavier payload, which means I can upgrade the camera to a HD SLR. The Phantom drone can't do that. On his Kickstarter page, Potter mentions buying a Photokite drone, which is even cheaper than a Phantom. Neither of these drones is capable of close-up documentation. So what was the more than $90,000 used for? His two drones combined cost just a few thousand dollars, at the most. Will Potter pursued and received serious funding for a very serious drone project, but he has nothing to show for it. And I'll tell you, 
Those of us who fly drones are proud of our work, and we'll show you our footage. I completely understand if Mr. Potter had problems. In fact, those were inevitable, and we told him that would be the case in the very beginning. But he always had the opportunity to call us to help him out. He didn't. Why? I can't prove that Will Potter has done anything wrong because he won't respond to me or to his supporters or to the animal advocacy website Animals 24-7 or anyone else as to what is going on. People in animal protection need to be credible, especially someone who claims to be a journalist. Animal protection is a noble cause, but not everyone in the movement is noble. It's time for Will Potter to explain what's going on. I'm not talking about his projects, but simply what happened to the money. A small fortune was given for the benefit of animals, and even if the truth is ugly, it's time to just come clean. I'm Steve Hindy for Showing Animals Respect and Kindness.